Hello there, I'm Mark Absalon, and welcome to the very first edition of Spare Changes by Reviews. In this series of videos, we're going to take my own personal experience from purchasing from online dealers of coins, offline dealers, also bullion dealers, and I'm going to tell you how I dealt with them and what type of an experience I had purchasing from them and the products I received, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then you, the viewer, can determine on whether or not you want to purchase from them or not. We're going to base this on five coins. Five coins being the best, one coin being the lowest. And we're going to use the criteria as in quality of product, uh, product amount. Uh, also, we're going to do shipping and payment and uh, customer service. And we're going to combine those all together and get a rating so that you can determine whether or not um, you want to buy from them from my own experience. Well, the first company we're going to talk about in this video is called American Precious Metal Exchange. American Precious Metal Exchange, or Apex for short, and you can see their website right here. They do the majority of their sales on their website, and uh, they sell coins, and they also sell bullion. Now, their coins are mostly slab coins, and they're either slabbed uh, NGC or PCGS, which are the two legitimate firms for having your coin graded slabbed out there. Uh, they also sell some BU coins. I myself, I purchased coins from them, and I've also purchased bullion. As you can see here, I purchased uh, these two Morgan dollars. Uh, they're from Carson City as an 1882 and an 1883. The 1882 I was really impressed with because it was a deep marrow proof-like and it's really proof-like. I mean, this thing is is got some really deep marrows. I was really excited when I got this coin. Now the PCGS, which is an 1883, uh, it's not as deep marrow-like proof, but the coin is in an old slab. I paid a little bit more for it, but it's not a 63. It's definitely a 64. So if I were to send it back in to be regraded, it would come back as a 64. Uh, their prices on their coins, they're very, very good. Uh, they sell them um, a lot less than the actual market value, so you can pick up uh, some great coins on there. Some of their BU coins, they do sell some of the new rolls, like here, there are Sacagawea BUs, and uh, I bought those in the 20, uh, 20 count, and these are 2008 Denvers. I've got some others too, I just don't have them out here for you to see. They, uh, they, they're they anywhere from a 63 to a 67, just by looking at them. Uh, they also sell um, old rare coins uh, individually, uncertified too. But what's great about these guys is you call them, you ask them, they'll say on their website, almost uncirculated or better. But when you actually talk to them, they'll say it's probably going to be an AU. So they're very honest with how they sell their, their raw coins. And they put the description whether it's scratched or not. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you know what you're getting when you buy it. Now, on the bullion side, I have some American Eagles here. Now, some people can debate whether these are numismatic coins or not. Um, I, I say they are, but I, I buy several rolls of these uh, a year in uh, the 20 count just for silver bullion. And these come great. I mean, the pricing on them is awesome. The, uh, they're about four bucks over spot value. Sometimes they'll sell them for 350 over spot value. And it's a good deal on American Eagles because sometimes they're hard to find. They also sell the gold bullion coins, uh, bullion bars, you name it, and all the prices are great. So on the quantity and quality of their products, I gotta give them four coins. So they're really good at that. Um, customer service wise, like I said, they're very honest, they're very friendly, and they respond to emails really quickly. So on customer service, they're excellent. So five coins on that guy. Let's talk about their shipping and payment options. Now, if you're like me, you're gonna do it all on their website rather than call them. Um, if you do it on your website, they'll take uh, debit cards, credit cards, personal check, cashier's check, and stuff like that. Now, if you're paying with a debit card, that's the quickest way to get your product, but they're gonna charge you a 2% fee on top of your purchase of whatever you're buying. And um, that's to cover what they're charged on the credit because I can see why they do this because the bullion market's up and down, up and down, up and down, and uh, they're trying to kind of cover their bases, which I understand that. But if you're wanting it fast, go with a credit card and um, you'll have that fee tacked on, but normally it's not that bad. 
uh, unless you're buying like ten or fifteen thousand dollars worth of stuff, then it can kind of get up there. But if it gets, if you have that kind of money to spend on bullion, you can do that. If you want to wait, send them a personal check, and there'll be no additional fees except for the shipping fee. And uh, after two weeks, when it clears, they'll ship it out to you. Now their shipping is really quick. I normally get their products two to four days max. I did have one problem where. The post office, for some odd reason, kept the box. They didn't bring it by, so I called their customer service and they said that it was sent out and it's at the post office. So I went down to the post office and got it. But other than that, I haven't had any problems with their shipping. And that was basically the US Post doing something strange. Um, their boxes are non-marked. So you can't tell what it is, which is a good thing for when you're ordering rare coins and bullion because you don't want to announce that it's a coin shop on the box because that would be kind of scary because you never know what might happen to it. And you do have to sign for the package. Now I'm going to give them four coins on the shipping and payment. The reason I'm doing that is because of the whole thing with the credit cards because I know some of the companies out there don't do that and it can kind of be a deterrent to some people. But all together, these guys are awesome. Their total score is going to be four and a half coins. So that's pretty high up there. And the question that I know you're asking me right now is, Mark, would you buy from them again? And I would say from America's Precious Metal Exchange, I would definitely buy from them again. They have a good selection, great customer service, and uh, they're very quick on everything they do. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Spare Changes Reviews. And uh, like I said, this is my own personal experience with the guys. If you have any questions, send me an email. And um, hopefully see you in the next Buyer Reviews. I'm Mark Absalon, and uh, I'm out of here.